I'm Galen Windsor, and I thought I'd share a few hands-on practical things that have to do with this nuclear scare scam. Now, you've heard that gamma energy, the kind of energy that comes off a rock like this, is the most penetrating, most damaging of all radiation. And not only that, here is uranium, the parent of radon, and they say if you can measure, detect radon in a home, then it's bad. If you exceed the EPA's limit, it's reason to run you out of your home. Spend $13,000 like they did with Stanley Watrous's house in Pennsylvania the other day to get rid of the radon to ventilate it out through. Ridiculous. Let's take them one at a time. This is a rock that I picked up in Natarita, Colorado. 16 weight percent uranium. High grade uranium. Hot. I read a thing the other day that says they had high grade uranium and lo and behold, it's too hot to transport, so they had to bury it on site. Oh, wonderful. Let's talk a little bit about radiation. If we can, uh, yeah, are we picking up? If you put the probe right there, the meter goes off scale, and you can hear it, all right? Hot. Radiation, gamma radiation is the most penetrating of all radiation. Oh, is it? All it's got between the rock and the probe is my hand. Doesn't count so pretty much, does it? What if I put the rock behind me? You don't suppose they've been lying to you, do you? I suspect they have. Well, let's do a little bit more. I got a black bottle. This stuff comes in white bottle. A bottle of no-dose. You can send children down to the drugstore to buy no-dose. All they need is money. In this are six, 60 white caffeine pellets. And this one is uranium oxide, U308. You can't buy it for love nor money. The state of Washington sent two of their Gestapo agents over to my home to confiscate my uranium samples on the 17th of December last year. Got a challenge. I'd like to have somebody in the room volunteer to take all of this bottle or all of this bottle. The only thing that I'll tell you is that one of them won't hurt you and the other one will kill you. Do you want the white stuff or the black stuff? White stuff? You do. There's enough in there to kill four men your size. The government says we got to ban this material. It's radioactive. Let's check it in the bottom of the bottle. Not very radioactive. Let's take the cap off. Oh, goodness. Very radioactive. This instrument will only count gamma, energy. It's just energy. Lights coming from those lights. Only you're getting lots of infrared from the lights as well as ultraviolet. Energy response, and it's very carefully damped to only discriminated so it only gets the energy that comes from this. I don't want it to respond to a light, just to this. Cost me $1,000 to get an instrument that'll just respond to this and not to that. This is radioactive by any definition. Radioactive material giving off radiation that is read by an instrument like this. The daughter of this, radon, cannot be read on this instrument because it gives off alpha particles. An alpha particle is a di-positive uh, particle that comes from the nucleus. It has two protons and two neutrons, therefore an atomic weight of four, and it's minus two electrons. And if you grab it with a high ionization potential counter, it'll count. But if it travels two inches in air or through a piece of paper, it picks up two electrons, two beta particles, if you will, 
and becomes helium gas, and it won't count on an ionization chamber. Did you know that this thing right here is given off helium gas? Alpha comes from uranium. Okay, radioactive material. You pour it out in the hand, and that's radioactive contamination. Is it radioactive? Yeah, it is. Very radioactive. Now, decontamination is nothing but scooping it back up and putting it into the bottle. I just now decontaminated my hand. No, I didn't do such a good job. Not good at all. Is it still radioactive? Yeah, that's called residual radioactivity. Now, under the decontamination rules of the government, when you decontaminate somebody like this that's that contaminated, and this is certainly a reportable incident under current DOE regulations, when you decontaminate it, it has to go down a control drain so that you don't disperse radioactivity. Do I qualify as a control drain? That material that I just ate is uh, not soluble in body fluids. Like it's been this. It's uh, it was fired uh, originally at 940 degrees C, oxide. where it becomes U308, known in the industry as HCl insoluble. In other words, it will not dissolve in concentrated hydrochloric acid. Hot. Your stomach has 10th normal hydrochloric acid in it, so it won't even dissolve. The stuff is so fine that it has no texture to it. It doesn't even feel rough. So it's tasteless, odorless, has no texture. How is it supposed to hurt me? Because I've been eating this on lecture tour for two years, the state of Washington felt it necessary to confiscate my uranium samples so that I would be safe. Dr. Fulton from the Hanford Environmental Health Foundation called up and he says, hey, I heard one of your guys OD'd on uranium today, Galen. And we talked for a little while and he says, oh, that was you. And I says, listen, I can eat all that stuff I want. He says, it'll ruin your kidneys. How are your kidneys? They're fine. Well, you should have been chelated within four hours. And I mean, you guys are going to follow me around the country and give me chelating agents every four hours after I eat it on lecture tour? <laughs> He says, we'll give you any medical assistance that you need, Galen. We don't want anything to happen to you. I said, did that include turning out the federal SWAT team four days ago to get me? Where are these guys coming from? Well, here's a piece of metal. Density of 19, 19.0. If you know your chemistry and physics, you know that there are only two metals that have that density plutonium, and uranium. Radioactive pyrophoric density of 19. Outside of a laboratory, most of you can't tell me whether this is uranium, plutonium, or a mixture of the two. Now, I said that it's heavy, and it is. Let's see if it's radioactive. Yeah, it is. Pyrophoric, what does that mean? Pyro, fire. Black on the end. The spark that just came off there is pyro, fire, burn. If it's plutonium, I just contaminated this area of Arizona in excess of the EPA's limit for one square mile of surface. <laughs> Somebody laughed. It's serious. The end of progress altogether says that I just contaminated you in excess of the limit for one square mile. It's now silver on the end. Tomorrow it'll be black because it self-oxidizes, this, this black color like this, all by itself. Plutonium does that and uranium does that. Is it hazardous? 
Yeah, it is, because they take depleted uranium metal and make it into 50 caliber bullets, fire them from shoulder-held weapons. In 1976, they obsoleted tank warfare with these things because it only takes one dog face with one weapon to knock out a 65-ton tank. It'll go through three inches of armor plate, and when it comes out the other side, it's that white hot spark that we just made. And the five men in that tank are dead because it'll burn all of the oxygen out of the air and burn their flesh. 1976, they obsoleted tank warfare, and you never even knew that. They make 10,000 of those bullets every day in the United States. Lead is hazardous to your health too, isn't it? Uh, particularly if it's in a 45 slug like this and it hits you right here going about 2,600 feet per second. It's not the material, it's the impact from the velocity. Let's be very specific in the words that we use. This particular chunk of lead came out of a human body. My son, who's a deputy sheriff, thought maybe I could use it on tour. That's called dying of lead poisoning. Anything less is a figment of the imagination because it's not soluble in body fluid either. <laughs>